Hey, what's up, guys? Listen and shut the door. What's up, Sussex Squad? We have so much to talk about. Kate Middleton, right? Kate, Princess of Wales, has come out and said that she is, in fact, suffering from cancer. That's the first bombshell. We're about to watch her official statement, and then we have to get into this because, you guys, this answers so many questions, but it leaves so much more. Can I just say, one, hopefully Kate made a full recovery. She says she is currently going through chemotherapy. She is in this video. She is talking. She is giving us the proof of life that we all wanted. She's giving us the proof of life. I'm about to play the video. But also, Kensington Palace is pure trash. They like to call us conspiracy theorists. They wanted to call us crazy. They want to say that everyone that felt like there was something wrong was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. We can 100% confirm the girl in that video was not Kate. And also, I'm looking at William too and the pound. I'm going back to saying Kate is not a willing participant in this. The fact that Kate was literally, and you see it in this video I'm about to show, it's taking very far back and there's a heavy filter on it and you still see she is not doing well. What the F did Kensington Palace say that she, you mean that woman was up late editing vi pictures of her with the kids? And even if she did do it, instead of just William taking the blame, that piece of S literally let Kate be literally mocked humiliated and ridiculed and then Kensington Palace came out and said you guys she's taking responsibility y'all is this another Princess Diana situation I'm not even joking and whatever you feel about Kate because none of us know her personally we just know the things she's done whatever you feel about Kate look at it through a lens there's been pictures where it said that Bruce William has a temper I'm back to thinking Kate is not a willing participant in this you guys, let's get into this, okay? And then we'll do, I'll open up lines. I have a lot to go over, but listen to Kate in her own words, okay? Let's go. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. All right, so there you have it. Now, let me just say this, everybody. If someone says they have cancer, I'm not going to question it. 
she, she has cancer. I do not why, know why any sane person would ever lie about that. So let's take that as her word. This is predicating everything. Kate says she has cancer, just like we believe Charles, cancer. But this opens up a lot of questions for me. One, I saw somebody in the comments that I blocked. And yeah, you guys ran with it. You made all this up. No, 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 no. Kenzen and Palace are sociopaths. Kate was legitimately sick. We all thought she was legitimately sick. When we saw the fake videos and fake photographs and fake statements, everybody said the same thing. That's not adding up. That's not her. Why would you be hiding a person? Are they here? Are they on this earth? Are they in trouble? There was genuine, at first, yes, it was morbid curiosity because something was very, very weird. But it literally turned into, when people put hashtag, where is Kate? Yes, I know as an American, we have very dark humor, right? And it was ha-ha. But the undertone to that was, where actually is Kate? Kensington Palace, working with the sun, and also, we don't know if TMZ's in on it, but definitely working with the sun and the Daily Mail and most of those dirt rags out over the sea put out report after report after report. They put out fake videos. They put out fake statements. They literally try to lie, reveal, and conceal. And no, there is no excuse. I don't care what's going on for literally putting out fake videos with fake lookalikes, leading us to believe that it is a woman that we have all been looking for. And then coming and talking to us like we're stupid children. Do you know who is responsible for all this mess going on the internet? For the Associated Press issuing a kill notice? Do you know whose feet this lays at? It lays at whoever is in charge of Kensington Palace. I am not apologizing for making jokes about a woman that Kensington Palace said was fine. I'm not apologizing for going tin hat because you show me photos and videos of someone that I clearly know isn't at. And when we finally say enough with the games, you show us this woman or something's off. And you literally have, with the son who is William's bestie, at least being sued by Harry, and TMZ issue a video that everybody can tell is fake? Because right now, and I believe this is Kate talking, she's confirmed it is cancer, which is very sad. She's concer concerned that she needs time to process. Yes, of course, do what you need to do. But I will in no way pull back anything that was said for the shenanigans that came out of Kensington Palace. And I would hope that if it was ever me and you see people putting out fake videos, Tisa lookalikes, this and that, uh, da, 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 I would hope you guys would also press for the truth. We did not need to know that Kate had cancer. She could have put out this video saying she's well and thank you. The reason and let's not lose sight of this ever, that Kate had to actually share what was going on in her body. It's because Kensington Palace, the people, the centuries old state uh, monarchy, those vultures, those disgusting, the same thing they did with Diana. The reason why Kate had to share her health situation is not because of the internet. It's because Kensington Palace put her in the situation to be mocked, ridiculed, questioned, and very much concerned. When Kensington Palace, let's put it in thing, Kensington Palace, which is run by her husband, they serve only one master, who is William. Instead of when that Frankenstein photo came out, William coming out and being like, all right, listen, Kate wasn't feeling well. I want to do something nice. Ba 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 ba. I photoshopped this picture. Not even Photoshop. I Frankenstein. I manipulated this picture. 
What did they do? They had Kate come out and make a statement. They made a woman with three small children suffering from cancer. Kate is, well, you can tell. She even that they have that photo, that video, 20 feet back, full filter. She still looks sickly skinny. She still looks super pale. She looks like she looks like she's suffering from cancer. William and Kinson and Palace made a woman suffering from cancer, actively going through chemotherapy. And clearly this cancer might be serious because now they have to share it with the kids. You made her or made her take the blame and issue a statement to be mocked, teased, and humiliated by the whole world? And no, I'm not going to apologize because it was weird. Do you know who should be ashamed? The people that believed everything Kinson and Palace told them. The people that looked at a video of a woman that supposedly just went under ab surgery, laughing and joking, running ahead, swinging bags, and then turned around and looked at us and said, for shame, for shame, your stupidity is a shame. Your ba ba sheep mentality is a shame. Your inability that the palace looked at you and said, don't believe your lying eyes. And you said, I don't believe anything. All because you wanted to look morally superior. All because you just wanted peace. Even when they clearly showed that they were engaging in a PR misinformation war. What? I think we've lost the plot. I don't even care for who Kate is as a person if what the what can be believed from what people said. But this has nothing to do with personal like or not. We have a young mother because even I can look at things objectively. This is no longer subjective. Kinsen and Palace are psychopaths, in my opinion. You have a young one mother suffering from cancer in the throes of chemo and the pesset. Oh, well, put the air. Why was that Mother's Day photo put out? Well, let's ask. Because we asked the fact of Kate to make a statement. Harry and Meghan were on a victory high. They were the media darlings. I'm taking you back to Mother's Day. I don't care if you like Harry and Meghan or not. It is what it is. Right? They were on a high. They were on a PR high. Harry was, Meghan was. Kinson and Palace released that picture on Mother's Day to hijack the news cycle and take the, the shine away from Harry Mega. I don't care if you like them or not. Kinson and Palace, because of done by William, delights in having this weird war with Harry. Okay? He does. He hates Megan, it seems. They did it to hijack the news cycle. Now, listen, that is their precedence. That is, and I will say this, it is their right if they want, because all PR people hijack news. Hold on, guys. I have a whole list of what the Fs about this. Let me just start with the biggest. It is their right to hijack the news cycle if they want to play stupid games, but William won stupid prizes because one, that picture was apart as fake. We now know that it was a deliberate attempt to sky. But when you look at it lower, what is it really? William and his feud with Harry took precedence over so many things that he literally trotted out his wife suffering from cancer and a major abdominal surgery and used her as a reason to hijack the narrative. He also Kinsen and Powell's also made sure that her wedding ring was not on her finger. I still have not left the divorce thing. But again, and I do want to say that if you look at studies and talk to any clinician, doctors, and nurses, women are actually left and got divorces. Unlike men, who if there's marriage trouble and they announce a, a very uh, a life uh, 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 challenging disease, um, a disease that could, could potentially uh, end up ending their lives. Women actually stay with their husbands. It is medical proof 
that husbands divorce their wives while they're sick. Not all of them, but it's enough of a medical phenomena that they have even warned doctors do not give diagnosis like that while husbands are in the room because you need the wife's permission because you never know what's going to happen. So this does not take divorce off the table. But let's roll it back a little bit more because, baby, this ain't no, oh, see, 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 see nothing. You are never going to convince me that when somebody gives me a MFing, a mother-loving video saying this is the person you have been concerned about, about her whereabouts for almost three months, two months, you are never going to, what did you prove? That you guys are psychopaths? William had a sick used her to take the shine off of Harry. Even when the worst case scenario in any story for a family, the mother has cancer. You choose William Kensington Palace to play stupid games. And then when you're called out, you have the sick woman come out and basically be subjected to public ridicule public ridicule the people in Kensington Palace are psychopaths this is another and I know Kate signed up for it and I know she gave everything to this and I know Kate engaged in the media manipulation the games the bullying of Meghan and Harry I know they delighted in them leaving I know Kate maybe was the one that said the royal racist comments. Because at this point, I believe it might have been William. Because look what they did with a sick woman going through chemotherapy. Yes, what's our sin? Something was right. We said these photos were fake. We said these videos were fake. We said Kinson and Palace was lying. And we were right. You guys, we were right. We were right. We were right. So Kinson and Palace lied about the video. The sun lied about the video. I will say this. You know that guy that made the video that supposedly got 200000 They either got conned by a grifter for uh, $200,000 or they were in on it. All right? Listen. I know a lot of people are saying that it is a deep fake. And she's sitting very far back from the screen. But if you zoom in, you see the wind blowing through her hair. Okay? <laughs> You see the wind blowing through her hair. Again, Henry VIII on Twitter said, wait, so Kensington Powell's threw a woman with cancer under the bus for that photo? A staffer really couldn't take the heat? Derek White said, Kate has been in chemo this whole time. That's what they didn't want to admit. The fact that they put out the weird Photoshop and refused to say anything, they're the worst PRP in the entire world. You guys, that video that everybody was calling us, they just gave. There are, there are, and also I want to thank TMZ because I do believe that the staffers, they literally let information leak. And the way TMZ has been doing stories about where is Kate, I 100% believe that Kate, Kim, uh, TMZ paid off people to delve into Kate's medical records and Kate's medical records were about to be released. So they decided to get ahead of the story. And again, I'm not thanking Kate, TMZ for going into anybody's uh, records. I'm saying that they forced them to actually. Also, Too Short 23, thank you so much for becoming a member. The newest members of the Tattletales. Thanks so much. Okay, hold on. Let me get into this. You did all these lies. Again, I refuse to apologize. The baby, there, there is, I don't care why you did it. There is never any, and I hope everybody that literally was like, you guys stop it, stop. The Archbishop of Canterbury, they had the head of the Church of England, along with countless flunkies, newspaper reporters, even people on TikTok that wanted to seem like the moral authority. I hope you're happy with this video because you have it. This is Kate. Dummies. There's never a time in my life. I don't care what's going on. If you show me something, I have to be truthful. If I can see with my own eyes that it's not truthful. And the only thing that's stopping me from calling you a liar is the respect I have for you. Baby, no. I will always believe my eyes first. I don't need you to tell me what reality is. I have two eyes. I can tell myself. 
the desperations of people that you were clinging to believe with these. Again, I will not put this on Kate's shoulders. I won't. She's a young mother suffering from cancer, going through chemotherapy. This is not about Kate. It has never been about Kate. It has always been about William and Kensington Palace. That's what it's about. That's what it's always been about. This also leads me to believe this. That car ride with Carol Middleton, it was Photoshopped because there were five wheels on the car. But Carol looked really, really annoyed. And Kate looked a bit puffy. Could that have been Kinson and Palace trying to make Kate? I don't even know about that anymore. We do know that that video, that even some, I can't get over it. Some of the people I respect was like, that's enough. Enough of these conspiracies. And we're like, guys, it's not a conspiracy if it's true. That's not her. Hold on, I have more on my list. Let me just say thank you. Dory Angel says, no apologies, Tisa. So happy to be here with my fellow tattletellers. Glad I found my people. Yes, baby. We are family. Glad we came. Celtic Moon, thank you for being a mayor. Also said, love you, Tisa. William is a woman's disgust. This is no longer about Kate. This is about Kensington Palace. It's about William. This is about the way women, even if you are on their site, will treat you like dirt and scum. The fact that William let Kate even come out and even say that mess about that picture, I cannot. I cannot. Oh, thank you, Meow. Thank you so much for that generous super chat. I cannot. Also, you guys, I just want to tell you this right now. If you see anybody in the chat saying mess, don't worry. I'll go through and delete them later. Like they are literally flop buzzing. This is our community. Let them buzz away. This is our community. We will have the conversations we want to have without the chitter chatter of people. Okay. At the end of the day, we will have that. So anyway, um, I was just saying bye to people. So anyway, I was in the middle of stuff and I had actually come through and jump into this because baby, I wasn't, again, right? That entire, I stand on this, the entire Kensington Palace staff needs to be fired. They were literally lying this whole time about her condition when Charles literally showed them the blueprint on how to do it correctly. And here's another thing. I understand Kate because she's going through chemo being like, I can't work. Anybody that's ever had a loved one suffer from cancer, unfortunately I have, you know what it's like. And it's an ugly, the vile, vile disease. It is. It is. Kate, is excused. Kate doesn't have to come to the phone. But William, your wife is suffering from cancer and your father is suffering from cancer. And Carol Middleton all but said that she's been the one tend to the children. So why didn't that pathetic excuse for a man child wrapped up in ego, why didn't he step up to the plate and do what needed to be done with not only Kate, but two nurses, Filipino nurses. William felt it was uh, important for us to know the race, right? That's the way William sees the world. It's not two women helping his wife through one of the most traumatic things that anybody can go through. It was two Filipino people helping her. We must remember, we must remember our place and theirs, even in the darkest of times. William couldn't step up to the plate. You had your father, your 80-year-old father, and your 74-year-old stepmother step up to the plate. William is vile. Let me just get through this some more, right? I have a couple more treats. This explains why Charles also announced his cancer diagnosis in hospital at the same time. He wanted to provide a distraction. But William and Kensington Palace were so stupid they fumbled it. And had he not been trying to one-up Harry and Meghan, even when this whole world was going around, this wouldn't even have happened. Uh, you will not, not shame anybody for seeing a clearly, not even Photoshop, 
but a Frankenstein photo for a woman that's been missing. And then when we are like, that, why did you Photoshop this photo? Instead of saying she doesn't feel her best, instead of them saying, listen, instead of William coming out, because William's the one that took it, and saying, listen, she doesn't feel her best. She doesn't want to think. We're doing this. We're doing that. It was a dumb mistake, but we did it. Because at that point, let me just say this. At that point, they could have issued a statement. At that point, they could have issued a video. This was only two weeks ago, guys. They could have issued a video. They chose, William chose to lie. They chose to conceal. They chose to gaslight. There is no world where gaslighting a whole world, multiple countries, there's no world, there's, there's no way that that's acceptable. And the dummy derangers, they're like, oh, you see what you did? So now it's our fault that you, when nobody was asking, came out and gave us lies. We said the lies, where is she? They came out and lied more. And this time they gave us fake video. And because we were like, okay, we're thinking the worst because this is not normal. And when they finally come to Kate sitting there by herself, by the way, where's William? Where's her bag husband? This is the king, the future king that the royalists deserve. Where's her dirtbag husband? Why? William could come out to an air ambulance event and party with Tom Cruise dancing the night away. William could show up drunk dropping medals. William could show up to drink beers with the star, one of the stars of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. William could show up like a psychopath and make cookies with children laughing and joking, but William couldn't uh, take his bald head up with his six hair and the hair on the side self and sit down. And I'm not clowning anyone that's going bald. It's not the baldness. It's the patheticness of clinging to the hair. Just, just, just shave it off. You might look like an evil one, but we already all like, right? Maybe you might be a better looking evil villain. Where William, how come he's not sitting next to Kate on the bench? How come? How come? It doesn't escape my attention that Kensington Palace also put Kate on a bench alone. This is the same bench, I believe, that Harry and Meghan also had an interview on. This is the same background as Heather. Even when Kate is coming clean, and I can't blame this on her anymore, she doesn't have any power. She's in the same situation as Diana was. And I'm not talking about the media hounding her. I'm talking about what the Kensington Post. She's in the same situation that Diana was with Charles. She's in the same situation as all the royal women. She's in the same situation as Meghan was. The only difference is Kate thought she, thought she had power. Kate thought she was curried. Kate thought she had, fav she had favor. Again, she thought that that pit bull was guarding her. But that beast of power, she didn't. She now realizes that she's now held in it. She now realizes that. I'm going to get to the comments in a second, guys, okay? Uh, again, again, we have to say this. Don't forget that Kensington Palace, in the, I'm mad. I, 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 my heart goes out to Kate. I am mad, furious at Kensington Palace, those liars. Don't forget these people also told us why they were in the middle of gaslighting us with that video. That Kate was, has been one, working from home, and two, she's going to make a surprise appearance at Easter and she's going to show up. Really? I guess the report of the kids being kept away from Kate are true. This also makes me think that even as I was the first person to clown Kate about her wigs, because, baby, get somebody, get one of, since he likes to talk about race, get one of the Jamaican hairdressers to actually lay your lace down right. Again, I'm not clowning Kate, but I was clowning her back then because y'all saw the wigs. How long has she been suffering with cancer? She's looked rough for a while. And those wigs, has Kate been going to chemotherapy for a while? Again, it's her personal diagnosis. That's not my, uh, that's not my point. My point is Kensington Palace just gaslit us and told us that she'd be back around Easter. They knew it was a lie. Kate knew she couldn't return to work. 
And after I think Boris Johnson's sister made a comment like, yo, uh, Kate, uh, that, that wasn't her. Anybody with two goddamn eyes could see that wasn't her. Right? Down, they come out and she has to come clean because there's no more lies that they can tell. There's no more, like, whatever. Anyway, right? Um, let's get into the stuff, right? Jason uh, Kunde says, care is a tragedy. I feel especially for Kate's children and he makes a full recovery. Separately, all of the weird, fake, she, and then he says separately, all of the weird, fake stage media was ludicrous and the absolute worst way to handle this and only fan the flames of online conspiracy. Again, when everybody's wondering where somebody is and you put out a deep fake video, what do you expect to happen? Do you not expect people to believe are you still alive? Was anyone that was defending Boy Kinson and Palace? Because I know people love to play morally superior, right? As if being stupid is a moral trait. Did anyone that was out there defending Kinson and Palace say, you guys, it's obvious. They're putting out deep fakes because Kate is currently undergoing chemotherapy and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Nobody guessed that. Who would? That means that the reports right of the kids being kept away from kate are true or were true okay there were lots of reports that the kids were not again kate says that the reason that the kinsen and palace did not correct the record when they said it's not cancerous was because after the surgery they did test right and they found out that she had cancer in her Blood, well, I don't even know if it's in her blood, but they found out she had cancer. I guess she's saying this because they finally told the children what was going on, which is their right. I do want to say this, and this is something, listen, talking about the truth is not a conspiracy. Let's talk about the facts. The Queen and Edward in the last year and a half, I believe, when did she pass away? I need to see this. Let me get that thing. When? In about a year, September 2020, so a year and a half ago, passed away. Two years ago, um, two years ago, what's his name? Philip passed away. They both died of cancer, both of them. Now, Kate, Charles, Bernie, and get this, it's rumored to be Edward are all suffering from cancer? So Philip and the queen passed away not less than a, two, a year and a half, two years ago, depending. And now Charles, who is related to Philip and the queen, of course, so there could be like a, a, a trait for cancer. Edward, now this is alleged. I've heard rumors that Edward is very sick, suffering from cancer. But even if you take them off, but Kate Fergie are not blood relations. In less than two years, Five people from the same family, both blood and by birth, are all suffering from very extreme cancer. What is going on in that palace? I know cancer. I know. I've had loved ones pass away from cancer. I know it's not contagious. I know about cancer. But what's going on in that family? All of them? And Fergie, Charles, and Kate are all suffering at the same time? Um, really quick, let me just say this. Baby girl says, Tisa, thank you for always keeping us up to date. I have the utmost respect for you. I've been watching you since I was 17. So, oh, thank you. Happy, listen, thank you so much. You weren't kidding when you said your name was baby girl, young and beautiful. Mm. Thank you, baby girl. Uh, Dell, thank you so much for the super sticker. KG, thank you so much for the super uh, sticker. Celtic Moon, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Also, Gail Tapscott, thank you so much for the super sticker. Also, Nazareth uh, Asafa, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Gator Girl 94, thank you for becoming a member. And also, Michelle Washington, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Again, any woman that marries into that family, I have more information before I get to the rest of my list of what the F is going on. Five people in under two years, the same family, and two of them passed away. Charles, now Charles, Fergie, Kate, 
and rumored to be Edward. Edward has been looking really, really bad lately, too. I don't know if it's cancer, but there's something going on with that man. Again, um, Busy Royal Expert said, and also I want to give a shout out to Harry and, and Megan today on Twitter, Breaking News Twitter. Thank you so much for always sending me such great stuff. Busy Royal Expert said, woman today is not the woman that was skipping in the Windsor video. The lies continue. And the 8th said, they announced, um, not Julie said, I have a feeling the reason she made this announcement, announcement was because the record's infiltration. She knew it was going to be leaked soon. Henry the Eighth said they announced because she's not going to be making an appearance at Easter Sunday. These people were willing to keep lying in our faces instead of just telling the truth. And, and hear me, this is the last time I harp on it because I want everyone to realize where my point is and I want these goddamn derangers to hear me. Had they have been even, forget about transparent because your medical history, th th your medical is your medical. But had they even been slightly honest and not lied, concealed, and been full of deceit, nobody would even be questioning where Kate was. They did this to Kate. And they continue to do it to her. These mo mm. Let's keep going. Again, we can now confirm what the Spanish media and what we said on this page. Well, all the people. See, see, that's enough. Just stop. They got the Church of England to lie for them. The Church of England. They got townspeople. This deceit goes. The fact that Kensington Powell is, is capable of this level of deceit. Just don't be just because they're bungling idiots and they wouldn't have gotten away with it doesn't mean they didn't try. What other levels of deceit did they get away with? We saw it with Megan. What other levels of deceit did they get away with? that we don't know about. These people are dangerous. They are sick. They are sociopaths. This is weird. This is why Kate is not making an appearance on Easter. We called it on this channel. You guys, there's no way that a woman they've been hiding that had a major app is going to be at Easter, right? We also now know why they couldn't commit the trooping of colors. Listen, I believe celebrity said, our thoughts and prayers go out to her. If you recall, in January, Kinson and Pat released a formal announcement about Kate's ab surgery. Nowhere in that statement did the word cancer appear. Although the same news cycle as statement, although within the same news cycle as the set statement, palace sources were telling reporters in every major news outlet that Kate did not, nor does that, nor does she have cancer. You can say, well, her focus was on her recovery. And as she says in this video, figuring out what to tell her children. I understand that. And I have sympathy for it. But it's just another example of Kinsen and Powell's birth through the credibility and goodwill. Because again, nobody when she went to ab surgery or very little people thought it was cancer. Kinsen and Powell's came out in that news cycle and said it's cancer. Let's also not forget that when they talked to us like we were insolent little children, uh, what was it, three weeks ago, then this, the guy just still stuns. She's making a recovery. You didn't say, you, you, so you stood by not cancer. So this explains why Kate put out that weird line about at the time of surgery, she didn't know it was cancer because she needed to explain the, uh, the initial lie that Kenzen and Powell put out. When they sit point blank, it wasn't cancer. And here's the thing. Kate, again, is a sick one dealing with cancer. Again, I do not have respect for, and I'll put this out as a disclaimer. You guys know my feelings on Kate, the alleged racism, the bullying. You know my feelings on everything, okay? I can say my feelings on that and the way Kinsen and Palace threw another woman under the bus and made a sick woman do that. Okay. Kate is the sick one. She's dealing with the cancer diagnosis. So I can't even blame her. I'm looking at William and her horde of palace courtiers and communications team that screwed this up and screwed her over. In charge of the girls on Twitter said, 
like they sent out a whole fake person, a fake photo, and all that when it could have just been that she was recovering. They issued a statement, a video. Instead, they chose to lie. It does make me think now, and I was of the mind of it's two weeks ago, that Kate, for whatever reason, wasn't playing ball anymore. And the reason they did all this is because Kate refused. I can see having three young children looking at chemo, which is so debilitating and horrendous, and literally maybe reevaluating life, reevaluating what you thought you wanted. Health is wealth. When you are state facing a potential life ending, day, it puts things. Maybe Kate was like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Get out my face. I'm not doing this. So instead of just issuing a statement saying, Kate's recovering, she's not missing, blah, blah, you guys decided to go around her and tell Kate, you will do what you're told. Because women are replaceable. Women are tools. And women will be used to protect the crown at all times. Don't you know? Megan was. Diana was. Kate, unfortunately, at probably one of the lowest times of her life, is finding out, baby, you are tool too. I know you thought we, it was us and you were on the team. No, you were the tool too. Is Kate? I don't think Kate was playing along. I think Kate might have been like, I'm not doing this. And the thing about Kinson and Pettis, why wouldn't they just announce it? Because these are the same people, the same people that are alive. Or the same thought process. To me, Kinsen and Palace has always been heavy into eugenics. They've always been heavy into a royal blood, superior genetics. I think maybe Kinsen and Palace was embarrassed by the fact that Kate had gotten a disease that affects millions. That Kate had gotten a disease that even affected the Queen and Philip and even Charles. Why did they tell that the Queen and Charles had cancer? Because they were obsessed with looking like they had superior genetics. Let that sink in. I know that because the queen looked like somebody's sweet little grandmother and Philip looked like the crypt, crypt, crypt keeper and Charles looks like a very like sweet, funny grandfather. These people are devils incarnate. They believe in supporting the can the um the status quo. They're operating under the same old guard, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, those rules that were made and acting like cancer. It's shameful, and the public could never know that royals could suffer for such a working-class disease like cancer. Remember, they wouldn't even let the queen and Philip's death certificate say that they suffered from cancer? I think they probably had no intentions of ever letting the public know that the Princess of Wales was being treated for cancer, hence all the body doubles. These freaking morons really thought that they could fool a public by trotting out body doubles while someone is fighting cancer. This also goes to say that no matter what you think, Pierce Morgan was telling the truth when he said, that's not Kate. I have know people that have seen Kate. Kate is painfully thin and she looks very unwell. And I know everybody was like, Pierce Morgan is a liar. Pierce, yeah, and he's psychotic. But sometimes you have to go into the belly of the beast and listen to what their own cheerleaders are saying to know what's going on. I knew that wasn't Kate when Pierce Morgan questioned it. And he does nothing but lick the boots of the crown. Well, at least Buckingham and Pals, not Kensington. Again. Um, again. Uh, probably had no intention of ever letting the public know that she was sick. Interestingly enough, do you remember, um, I feel so sorry for the children. It's sad for her and the kids. Also, it seems really small down, but remember when there was a fight over whether George would go to boarding school and then William swooped in and said, they're going to boarding school. And then it was all settled. And then sometime in January, there were reports that, okay, well, we don't know what school the kids are going to go to. Maybe they won't go to Marlton, but they might, and maybe they won't eat them, but they'll go for something in between. It seems very small now, but I think that's why they relented, at least in public, on whether the kids would actually go to boarding school. And it, and it turned into still a question. This explains why. 
Somebody made a joke. This is not funny, but it's heartless, but it's true. Listen, they said that that family's so damn inbred, the whole family got cancer at the same time. What a shame. But it's hilarious. It's, it's heartless, but it's also true. Because outside of Kate, they all have the same inbred genes. Don't forget, Prince Philip and Elizabeth were cousins. Again, what is going on in that family? Again, that was a heartless joke. It was super bad taste. I'm not laughing at the cancer. I'm just saying that, like, what is going on with that family's crazy? Because even being inbred is because it's better to have inbred royal blood than to mix with someone that's not. Ashley Reese said, Kate having cancer makes a lot of sense. Hope she recovers. It's also insane that the palace's peer let this go out so, so out of control. I thought they ran a tight ship over there. A.M. Pine said, especially with how the gynecological, gynecological cancer rates for women in their 30s and 40s are rising. A surgery to remove fibro, fibros or polyps is how they found my cervical cancer two years ago. Even preventive chemo sucks. I wish her well. Get this also, they just told her children today, which means the rumors that everybody said we were conspiracy and we were lying and how dare you of Kate being kept away from her kids. It looks like there's truth to that rumors. Chris Ship is reporting, breaking news, Kate is cancer. She has just revealed, it was just revealed by Kensington Palace, why she sat alone on a bench. William and Kate told their children today after they finished school, it's now being made public. They won't say what cancer. Kate is having chemotherapy. It was just discovered after her January ab surgery. Kensington Palace is trash. So the kids didn't know what was wrong with mommy. And because Kensington Palace lied and made up this whole thing and let this shit go on, they picked the kids up from school and told them mommy has cancer and then announced it to the whole world. Do you know what I think really happened? And I'm not even joking. And if this is true, Kins and Pals, I mean, not Kins and Pals and TMZ is trash for this, but you invite the devil into your house. I do believe that this records breach was not that they want St. John's, this that happened just recently was not the same records breach in December. We have proof of that now. One was records, the other one was actual employees. I do believe that TMZ, like they do all the time, paid off hospital workers, and TMZ can pay people off handsomely, paid off hospital workers to look into the files of what is going on with Kate. They do that all the time in America. If it's not them, I apologize, but it seems like it's their MO. Seems like they paid off the hospital workers, and it seems like the news of Kate having cancer was about to leak. Let's also not forget Cam TMZ showed that photo, but they're no fools because then. They did that video where they're like, yeah, is it Kate? Then they did a whole documentary, where is Kate? TMZ was le leading up to breaking the story that Kate has cancer, I believe. And that's why the palace snatched the children, said, mommy has cancer, and I'm not making light of it. I'm trying to show how horrible and grotesque and vile and disgusting Kinson and Palace's actions were by using sick, sadistic irony and satire. Please let me be clear on this. Kensington Paul snatched those kids out of school and said, mommy has cancer, okay. And then announced to the world, crown is nothing but power. They care nothing about the air, but they only care about the air that they can control. Will and Kate, Will and Kensington Palace had no intentions of ever letting. Remember all the rumors where Kate's family said they don't know what's wrong with Kate and they've been kept in the dark? They had no intentions of ever letting Kate's family or public know about her cancer. They were going to force her to undergo treatment in secrecy. That family is sick. They're sick. They're sick. And the derangers that are so dumb that you guys are defending an evil empire? Well, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Anyway, let's get into this also. Sandy Miller, thank you so much for the super chat. Gator Girl, again, thank you for joining. Michelle Washington, thank you. 
uh, Rhiannon, Jennifer Stanford, thank you so much for joining. Um, also, who is this? Alshadi Baratu, thank you so much for joining. Uh, Truth Ain't True, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Valentine TV said, all we wanted was a Zoom and Willie was not even sitting with her. Yeah, oh my God. Listen, we can think what we want about Kate. Nobody knows her personally. Can we separate who she is and what she did to Megan and just look at it objectively as a woman? that was abused just like Megan, and a woman that seems to be being, uh, to me, abused just like Princess Diana was by the men in gray and treated very, very poorly, shamefully by her husband. I can't believe William let Kate put out that statement, taking the blame for that Photoshop, especially, first of all, are we now mean to believe that a woman undergoing chemo spent two days Photoshopping something, took her ring off, you guys, they said, um, uh, Karina Lynn said, what if they wanted to keep the sea quiet? If true, because the surest, uh, the surest palace knew Will could never divorce. Oh, a woman, if she was definitely, listen, the divorce things are still on the table. I stand by my belief in that. It's my speculation. You can believe what you want. Life is a box of chocolates. Pick which one you want. But I find it funny that we were right about everything. The pictures, the video, the people seeing Kate and William laughing, joking. We were right about all that. It was all BS. The palace lied to us for months and then doubled it down with the body double because they were ashamed. They were ashamed of common, the common disease, like cancer. You know what? I do want to say one thing. William's not on the bench with Kate. Um, listen, they're not on the thing. Again, I, I really honestly do fear for Kate. I do not think she is safe mentally or even physically over in that palace. All those jokes about being the princess in the tower, I believe that they are all true. Um. I think that uh, I, 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 I do believe that it's going through. I just want to look at this video one more time because it just occurred to me. Is Kate wearing her ring in this video? Let me just go through this video, see if you guys can see. Let's actually put this on the summer giant screen. Is Kate wearing her ring in this video? They have words covering up so we can't actually see her ring finger. Does she have her ring on? The words are covering it up. <gasps> Kate's not wearing her wedding ring. William's not on the bench with her. And Kate's not wearing her wedding ring. You guys. William is not coming back from his this. People... Mm, William's not coming back from this. I'm going to zoom in one more time Why you guys are whatever. Should I open like a call and wait? Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. I do think I see a little bit of the wedding. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, I take that back. I can't tell if she's wearing her wedding ring. It's covered up the whole time. So, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm just wondering why William was not sitting next to her side. Don't matter if you have a ring, you still sitting on that bench by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I, I take that back. I cannot clearly see whether she's wearing the ring or not. Let me not start any rumors, right? Because our speculation is based on things we see. I cannot clearly tell if she's wearing, sometimes it looks like she has the ring on. Sometimes like right here, it looks like she has the ring. Okay, she has a ring on. Okay, all right, okay. Listen, she has her ring on. Let me not start any mess. Okay. Stacy Escobar, thank you so much for the super chat. Baby girl, thank you for becoming a member. And Perez Perez says, um, listen, Perez, Perez Perez. Okay, first of all, let me just say something. Perez Perez said, you'll say anything for a dollar. Remember, there was no hospital stay. Tisa, you're welcome. Perez Perez, you're a dumbass idiot. First of all, you just gifted me $5. 
Second of all, I stand by what I said. I do not believe that Kate was in that hospital for 10 or 14 days after. I don't. I don't. There was something off in it. Kate never left that hospital. The date they told her she left, she never left. So she either was out of that hospital days before, because there is a hospital actually in the palace, you dumb F. Like, let me stop with um, uh, uh, people. Like, let me stop. I know. It's like, I shouldn't be. My mommy's probably listening to this. I don't want to, um, I don't want to uh, start this. Let me just block people. First of all, thank you for the super chat. And let me block you real quick. Um, but listen, all jokes aside, um, okay, again, the derangers can say what they want. The fact that we started speculating, I stand by my speculation. Everything that we said was false, was false. I stand by my speculation. I hope you guys do too. You're not going to sit here and shame me for people, that person, Perez Perez, you should feel fucking stupid. Sorry, mommy. You should feel stupid that you were literally defending a deep fake video. Yes, go back three. Go back to when I said I don't even know if she was in the hospital. That was my speculation because we were seeing something that actually didn't make sense. Please, y'all are out of y'all minds. I don't no 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 no. Listen, we stand. Listen, I stand on everything. I double down. I stand on everything. It's funny. I realize that there is a personality of people that are very hardcore royalists. It's not. Also, let me just say this to Perez, Perez, dumbass. You want to dunk? Oh, you weren't you just saying there was no hospital stay, Tisa? You're welcome. Well, listen, dummy. If that's the case, and do you know why I said I didn't think there was no hospital stay? Because William only visited her one time at the Edmund Effin Hospital. So. The, I thought she really wasn't in the hospital that long because why would her husband only visit her once and her family not be allowed to see her and her kids not come? And now we found, right, that uh, uh, you now we find out, right, that she was in the hospital. She found out after the surgery because they give you blood tests before you get released. They found out after the surgery that she had cancer and her husband. Your king, your king, the person you get on your knees every night and lick their boots because they represent a hierarchy of white supremacy that you can't even get involved in. You're nothing but trash to them, but you're loyal, stupid, marching trash. Right? You're defending them instead of just saying, why would the future king of England only visit his wife one time? That's normal to you? Again, they're saying that what is the recovery time? Most pa patients are fully recovered from surgery to remove fibroids and one to cheeks. Recovery from abdominal my um, myomectomy takes four to six weeks. During this time, heavy lifting or any type of strenuous activity should be avoided. After laparoscopic my okay, myomectomy, you may go home the same day. Recovery. At home is about two to four weeks. So Kate said, because Perez Perez wanted to be like, didn't you just say? Yeah, bitch, I did. I did. Okay. I hate the rain. It's like this thing of arrogance, but venom and vile. So baby, I'm going to meet you where you're at. You want to be respectful and be sunshine and roses with me? We can be respectful and sunshine and roses. But baby, if you want to get in a gutter, we can go. I'll be waiting on you. William only t visited Kate one time. At all the surgeries I listed, which are the major abdominal surgeries, right? You go home. You may go home the same day. And then recovery takes two to four weeks. That would explain why if Kate did have the ab surgery, she was immediately discharged because in the palaces and all the royal residences that are huge, they have full hospitals. When I say full hospitals, I mean full hospitals. They can do surgery there. That is where the queen and Philip actually got their treatment for cancer there. It's full hospitals inside the palace. It's a matter of security for them to have that. This would explain why William only saw Kate one time. Because 
they were saying that she's going to take two to four weeks to recover, but she wasn't really in the hospital. She was recovering at home. You know, she was recovering all homes. They were recovering. Okay. So anyway, you guys, you guys, call in there. Thank you so much. Hold on a second. Let me just do this really quick. Um, Where are we at? Call in there. We got some trolls. Call in there, please. Um, you have moderator permission. Please be harsh as you can and block anybody you want. Mm. Please do it. All right. So let's get let's get going. Hey B, what's up, girl? Is B in the chat? Oh, and B's in the chat. You guys, listen, my heart goes out to Kate heart goes out to her family. I think Kinson and Palace are absolute, horrible, disgusting, vile human beings to do this to a woman suffering from cancer. Also, if you want to call in, here's the call in link. If anybody wants to call in and tell me what they think of this, um, please let me go. Um, again, I don't know. I don't know what to think except for they are horrible. There's more, right? Wait. Oh my God. Hold on. You guys. This is breaking. I'll probably do a video about this, but if you're here, this is breaking. CNN and um, what's his name? Uh, Anderson Cooper. So on Anderson Cooper Live, right? They're talking about Catherine's cancer diagnosis. They have a certified doctor oncologist right now saying that they don't believe that Kate has cancer. He says it doesn't make sense. It's another PR, uh, PR blow. Uh, uh, sorry. It's not that he doesn't believe he has cancer. He's explaining it, but he's basically saying that it doesn't make sense for the abdominal surgery, the chemotherapy, and everything else. This is confirmation that they 100% knew she had cancer in January and was going to force her to go that through that alone and in secret. So the on a call doctor is saying, let me be clear, not that they don't believe that Kate has cancer. They're saying that they do not believe that they did not know Kate had cancer when she went in for that surgery. They're saying it's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. Part of the reason it doesn't make sense is because it is impossible. Kate has access to the best medicine. It is impossible that since that surgery, cancer would develop and, and, and swarm through at such a growth rate within only a matter of weeks from a surgery. Because cancer has to reach a certain level to be detectable. And they are saying it is almost impossible for that level of cancer detection between before the surgery and a week or two after the surgery for that level of cancer detection to actually, for it not to do. So a cancer expert, an oncologist saying it doesn't make any sense that the palace knew she had cancer when she went in for surgery. Again, they're saying this is confirmation that the palace 100% knew that Kate had cancer in January and she was going, they were going to force her to go through that alone. Listen, I'm going to play this video for you guys right now. Hold on, you guys. Do you guys want to hear the video so you don't have to like go and look for it? I'm going to hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to put the video of the oncologist saying that on the screen, he is one of the leading oncologists in the U.S. Hold on, guys this video up, queued up. One second, I'm just air dropping it to myself. I'm air dropping it to myself. Hold on guys. One second. Let me air drop this. Let's get this up. Uh, video file. This is the leading on a colleague. Hold on. I'll just let the video speak. So, so Dr. Ryan, pardon my ignorance on this. If somebody has surgery, um, 
and then the cancer is discovered after that surgery, is it because tissues, it, tissue from whatever the area of the surgery, in this case the abdomen, would be taken out and tested, or would it be, is it possible that it would be cancer somewhere else in the body that would somehow show up in a blood test or something? Um, well, with all respect to the, you know, to the royal family, uh, that kind of, you know, press release doesn't make a lot of, of medical sense. When people undergo extensive surgery, they, they just don't go in for uh, typically anymore uh, for, quote, exploratory surgery. All of, these surg all of these operations are preceded by extensive imaging, like CAT scans and MRIs. So the surgical team would have a very good understanding of what was likely to be uh, uh, the problem. And that would be confirmed by pathology. So a piece of the tissue removed, whatever the organ is, or, or uh, the organ removed, or... Hold on, you guys. Let me get a better... I'm going to zoom in. Because I just got sent that. So hold on. Let me zoom in really quick. So we can get a better uh, thing. One second, you guys. I'm sorry. Again, so off the bat, he's telling us that it actually doesn't make sense at all that they would go back in for exploratory surgery. This would explain why Kate said at the time they didn't know it was cancer. I think they're making Kate lie again. Again, you can say what you want, but one of the leading oncologists is saying that what they are professing to be true, what Kate was trotted out to say, it doesn't make sense. Again, this isn't on Kate anymore. This is on the palace. Hold on, you guys. Let me uh, airdrop this really quick so we can hear it again. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume up too, okay? I'm going to turn the volume up because I know it's a little bit hard uh, to hear. And then we'll go. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me check for the mold too. Why you guys are listening to the oncologist? Let me just check for the mold. Again, let me just say this. People want to say. Okay, so, hold up. So, Dr. Ryan. So, uh, listen, I, while you guys are listening to this, I'm going to check for the mold. Listen, I believe people on good. If you have lied to me 50, 11 times and try to literally gaslight me, after that, I'm not saying that you're a liar. I am saying I double check every piece of documentation and evidence you give me. Because, yeah. All right, you guys, let me put this on the Summer Jam screen and listen to this. Pardon my ignorance on this. If somebody has surgery um, and then the cancer is discovered after that surgery, is it because tissues, it, tissue from whatever the area of the surgery, in this case the abdomen, would be taken out and tested? Or would it be, is it possible that it would be cancer somewhere else in the body that would somehow show up in a blood test or something? Um, well, with all respect to the, you know, to the royal family, uh, that kind of, you know, press release doesn't make a lot of, of medical sense. When people undergo extensive surgery, they, they just don't go in for uh, typically anymore uh, for, quote, exploratory surgery. All of, these surg all of these operations are preceded by extensive imaging, like CAT scans and MRIs. So the surgical team would have a very good understanding of what was likely to be uh, uh, the problem. And that would be confirmed by pathology. So a piece of the tissue removed, whatever the organ is, or, or uh, the organ removed, or uh, intestine, for instance, that goes directly to the pathology lab, often during the surgery. Uh, and sometimes whether something is cancer or not will dictate the extent of this, the actual operation. So it's very likely that uh, the surgical team knew or had a good sense of what this was going to be prior to surgery, and that uh, was uh, confirmed at the time of uh, pathologic testing during the operation. So this is something that would have at least been suspected before and confirmed during the operation. That's what they're doing. All right. So there you have it. There you have it. All right. What do you guys think? So the royal family is still caught in a, another lie. Again, let's be very careful. It is the royal family caught in another lie, not Kate Middleton, because 
Kate Middleton. Not Kate Middleton because Kate Middleton is actually sick. I also took a little bit of what you guys said. Some people are saying, Tisa, check for her mole. Again, this is not anything. It's just to the point of we cannot trust a word that Kensington Palace says. Kensington Palace, even when they're telling the truth, are now trying to get Kate out there so that they can cover up her lies. Um, I 100% believe that... Um, I 100% believe that Kate, the royal family, were going to hide this and make Kate go through this on her own. Now, a lot of people are telling me to check for Kate's mole. This was taken super far away. Um, Kate looks very pale. Uh, she does not look well. If you zoom in, again, I know what everybody's saying about check for the mole. The only thing is it is so blurry and I get why there's a filter because Kate is very sick and it is a woman or a man's right that if you are being ravaged by illness, you can choose how you look, right? But I cannot tell or identify a mole, but that might be because there is a lot of filters on and the filters because it's so far away are smooth um are smoothing uh out her skin do you know what i'm saying it's smoothing out uh her skin but anyway son thank you for becoming a member also ninja kitty thank you so much for becoming a member why i'm droid said tisa is the tisa we need today after mitchell thank you so much for joining uh the tattletoes family um you guys are being so really beautiful to me thank you so much you guys um, Ashara, Tisa, the video, this would be convenient. God forbid. I pray she is until it's not too late. God bless Kate and children. Nicole Harris said, this video is off. Elle posted the same video March 19th. What Kate Middleton wears to wedding 2024. Same outfit with wait, with brown jacket. And the weather in the UK is 50 degrees. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me see. Oh, let's uh, let mm, hold on. What Kate Middleton wears to weddings? Hold on. L video. I don't know. If you have a link to that video uh nicole do you mind emailing it to me t-i-s-a-t-e-l-l-s -L -L at gmail.com i would very much appreciate it darling i'm trying to find it with google but i can't actually find it um but you know let's see what kate middleton what middleton where's the weddings 2024 where's the weddings 2000 hold on 2024 Video. I wonder though. I really do wonder. Oh my God. So my girl, she just messaged me and she said, um, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. So uh somebody said <laughs> She said, they're trying to make the sickest power play in the media. Cancer. Um, I will slow the chat in one second. I might actually move the chat to members only for a moment, just so we can get some of the trolls out, right? Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to put it in subscriber mode. Hold on, y'all. I'll just put it in subby mode because we need to get the trolls out. They're be, like they're harassing you guys, and you know I protect you guys. Um, listen, she told me, girl, she said, she said they're probably going to release news on Friday. You know what this also means, though? Oh my God. Remember how they told us that, um, remember how they told us that we were all conspiracy theorists because there was rumors that there was going to be a huge, and I mean huge announcement from the palace and it was supposed to come Monday and Tuesday. And remember how there, the BBC was bracing for this big thing. There was all the stuff that you guys, there is about to be a huge, huge announcement from Kenan Palace. And then 
they were like, how dare you? This is what we mean about internet speculation. You guys are just off your rockers, blah, 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 blah. You guys, this 100% means, this 100% means that at the end of the day, they were planning to make this announcement earlier in the week, but for whatever reason, they chicken out. Do you remember that just a couple of days ago? They were like, oh, you guys, there's going to be, um, there's going to be uh, this huge announcement, blah, 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 blah. Do you not remember that? Okay, you guys, I just made that subscriber only for right now until we can get these trolls out of here and then we'll open it up to everyone because you don't have to subscribe to tell me what you think. This is a family, but it's also a community. Um, also, John Doe, thank you so much for the super chat. J2023, thank you so much for the super chat. Nicole, thank you so much for the super sticker. John Doe said, cancer spread like crazy. Why try to upstage? the sitting monarch by saying your camp is worse. I agree. This is whack. Bizarre. It also says something about William and Kinsett and palace that your wife had cancer. You made her take the blame for you. Your dad had cancer. You made him do all the work. William is again, he is the ops. He will end the monarchy. He will end the monarchy. Uh, Zuleika Burroughs. Thank you so much for becoming a member. John Doe. Thank you again for blessing me so much. Everybody. Janiah says, I don't buy it. It was AI generated. Well, here's the thing. I looked at the video and and zoomed in. Her hair was blowing in the wind. Now, I know y'all might have saw Sara, Sara, but at this point, if they tell us, but they even lied about when she found out she had cancer and they created this and she's sitting there out on her own. Um, Jimmy, Jim's Jim, thank you so much for becoming a member. Brenda Walker, thank you so much for becoming a member. Uh, Karen Morgan, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Shirley, well, I'm sorry, Karen, thank you so much for the super sticker, girl. You're already a member. Shirley, thank you so much for the super sticker. Okay, right? We slowed the chat down just a little bit. Hold on. So we can actually get some of these, uh, we could get some of these trolls out. Again, you guys know I protect you guys fiercely. Like, we can agree to disagree. You don't even have to agree with me to be right. I don't care. Just be respectful. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, like, go talk trash on your platform. Anyway, right? Let's see. So there's a few other things. Uh, so hold on. Let's go to... Okay, so if you zoom in, there kind of is in, there's kind of is a, a, a mole. Again, Kate has a lot of blurring effect on the video. You can barely see her fine lines. And listen, uh, I don't know. I think there's a shadow of a mole there. I think there's a mole there. Again, it's the thing. Kenzie and Powell's are liars. I, I And let me just say this. And let me let you guys come up and talk, right? I do believe that, um, first of all, let's add YM Droid. I'm going to let people come up and talk one at a time. I do believe, for whatever reason, that Kenzen and Palace are using Kate. I think this is disgusting. I think this is pathetic. I, I, I just think this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> my co-host. I had to move my co-host out the way. Okay, really quick. Um, let me just say to, oh, Senzaya or... Uh, Sanzia, thank you. Sanzia, I think that's it, right? Thank you so much for the generous super sticker. And John Joe said, no reason to argue. I think we all agree Kate's being done dirty. Yeah, thank you, John Doe. You're right. Uh, Karen Morgan, thank you so much for the sticker. And Baby Girl said, Tisa, I've been a member. I just upgraded Ooh, to MVP. Thank you. I just love you so much in my mind. You're my big sister. You're my little sis, baby girl. Call in, baby girl. And let's have a conversation. Here's the call and link for anybody that needs it, baby girl. Oh, you're welcome. All right, let's get the first person. Why I'm droid. What is your feelings on all this? This is a mess, but first, what's up, Tisa? We got spicy Tisa today. I was here for that. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm just last time, I just what the, I don't understand. It's like you we've just been proven we've all been being lied to, and you Duncan. Really quick before you get into this, um, this Buckingham Palace has finally issued a statement. They said that his majesty is so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did. Following their time in the hospital together, 
Um, his majesty has remained in the closest contact with his beloved daughter-in-law throughout the past weeks. Listen, Charles and Buckingham Palace is even handling the news right away. This is what the Williams communication team should have done after that video. But instead, Williams nowhere, and they're hiding like little scared people trying to see if we bought it. But okay, YM Droid, you have the you have the the floor. Please continue. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I no totally agree. But oh my goodness, this just this just goes to show how not ready Will is for any kind of uh, leadership or responsibility over there. And the sad mm -hmm. thing is, I mean, like, even though he looks like he's 50, 60 something, he's only 40. I mean, well, you know, he's in his 40s, which is not the oldest, but it's still enough time that, you know, like you've had a chance to take notes from y your mother, you know, your father or how yeah. at least they run their stuff. Um, I, we would hope his grandmother, because, I mean, I don't. I don't think anyone could have fully anticipated the clown show that the monarchy turned into once True. once Elizabeth was not there. Like whether you liked her or not, she at least kept them looking. Now that we see their full messiness on display, she at least kept them looking, relatively speaking, uh, somewhat normal, somewhat respectable. Even though, I mean, especially with Andrew, we know that that family is not respectable. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. No, she tried it. She kept them together the best she could. But yeah, this is this is a mess. And one thing I'll say is that this still to me doesn't answer all the questions. Oh, before before I do though, like I would like to uh you actually have the best derangers because they pay you to be dumb. So I, know. I, <laughs> I would just like to say you should probably dedicate at least just one segment. Say if you have a stupid comment. It costs double what it costs everybody else, <laughs> but go ahead and send it yeah, in. Girl, baby, right? Girl, get your coins yeah. off of these dumb people. <laughs> exactly. Now, I do want to say this, and this is a bit of, um, a, it's a bit dark, but we have to talk about this. The fact that they didn't tell the kids, they just told the kids really quick. Um, thank you so much, son, for the super sticker. A and B, thank you so much for... Uh, joining Nicole Harris said New November 1st, 2023, Getty Images, Britain's Catherine, another photo, same outfit, sent you an email. Thank you so much, Nicole. And also, I'm going to pull that up. And also, your, uh, your leave, I'm sorry, uh, your lobby, like your lobby, indeed. I, said, I think why would they tell you, Libby. Thank you. Your no uh, said, Why would you tell young, am I pronouncing that right or no? said why would they tell young children about the cancers unless it's terminal i don't buy it um also i hope it's not that's like uh Mahida's keys thank you so much for the super sticker honestly all that stuff between her megan and whatever like yeah i just hope that's not the worst case scenario because william is done for this is worse than anything charles anything has ever done to the palace, right? Um, yeah, and I, I don't know if it's made it into your feed. It, it has for mine. So I'll say like, especially, um, and this is not to take anything off the track, but especially with like the P. Diddy, Kim Porter stuff, um, I watched those Sloan Bella videos and then like I started getting some more. And the, like some of those readings, and again, you can choose to believe this, not just take it with a grain of salt, but everybody who's, you know, like kind of in that world, who's done anything about them has, they've both, they've all started to say like that whole Nostradamus prediction about uh, Charles not being king for long. And then also an unexpected person uh, stepping into his place may not be so far off. Like just even yeah. at a general level, no one sees William doing this job um or anybody being happy about it because the way that they've handled this is just so trash and just shows him as like a dog mess husband a dog mess father because one why would you bring your kids into it with that fake photo that you allegedly took but then your wife who now you know uh supposedly has very serious cancer or some issues going on 
uh, was allegedly sitting there photoshopping it and like cutting and pasting uh, people into it. That's the best use of her time when she's trying to recover. Like even before we knew, it was just so many lies and so much trash. It's like, how can you expect us to believe it? And I'll say this, like you play that video from the oncologist and yeah. I've, I've had, I've dealt with fibroids, like really massive big ones. And yeah. I had an embolization, which is where it's a less invasive procedure, but basically they go in through an artery um, to cut off the blood supply. Before I got to that point, I can't tell you how many CAT scans, MRIs, and ultrasounds I had. Um, I also had like, you know, a more normal gynecological exam where they were checking to see like if there was anything else going on. So I 100% agree that there's still something fishy about this because before they will like put you into surgery for something like that, they'll tell you. And even after my like at a regular doctor's visit my doctor yeah. said oh they spotted this thing like on your thyroid when you were in the uh cat scan i just want to make sure that yeah. it's not this. so if there were something else where they said like okay like we know we're going to take care of this gynecological issue for you but we think that there might be something like on your liver or on your intestine or whatever the case may be they would have spotted that in advance. Like it's not the kind of thing where like, even if you go for a cut you open type surgery, they shouldn't be coming across, you know, like something totally unexpected to the point that, uh, that it's like this. It's just, it's very fishy to me. Like it, yeah. something about this still smells. Yeah, I think because they're also, like you said, and first of all, I'm so, so thank you for sharing that with us. I'm so sorry about, um, the cancer. I, it's like, I didn't even want to say it. I'm so sorry to hear about that. It's good that you have recovered. I oh, no, my, my, fortunately, mine were non-cancerous. That's, you know, like the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I was like trying to. Actually, I'm sorry, today, no. I today is my birthday. That. I'm getting old, older, fortunately. Oh, so. Happy birthday. So listen, I do want to say this. I 100% believe that they are, um, I do believe they bungled this. I believe it's a bunch of lies. And to you say, I think what we see is something fishy is a complete loss of faith. No matter why they did it, if you do a deep fake video, not even deep fake, if you do a fake video and then try to gaslight it, it's just like, yeah, okay. Again, the cancer specialists are now saying that th there's no way Kate's timeline that the palace is making her say could be true because if as cancer, they would have known when they went in for surgery because you have to buy up stuff and you have to do this and you have to do that. But that said, um, yeah, yeah, this is all really just, it's very, very sad, you know? It, it is. And I, no, and I, listen, I, I've always thought that there was something serious health wise going on with her. Like, I didn't think yeah. that they were making that part up. I'll admit, I, I did cackle at the slam BBL rumors because <laughs> where would they even get any fat from her um, to, yeah. to put? So, I, I mean, no, like those things are, are definitely like just more humorous. Um, I 100% I yeah. believe that there's something going on. But like I said, it just um, either she's been suffering from cancer. Or she was diagnosed with cancer well before all of this. But yeah. I mean, like, you know, and to be rushed in for the emergency surgery, I, I don't know, like, I just feel like that there was something else that complicated it or went on top of it. Um, because will for him to completely melt down in public the way that he has been. Um, to the point where I mean, that man's new song is side to side. Um, you know, he's got that Ariana Grande going because he cannot stand still. He's, yeah. he looked, you know, like so much worse for all of that stuff to be like, be coming out. I, I don't know. I, I just can't believe that that is all, um, oh my goodness. Like, you know, not to say you wouldn't be devastated if someone you yeah. were supposed to care about got cancer. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, like I, I don't think it would lead to the type of public meltdown that we're seeing with Will. So I still think that there he is in some way a contributor to something that I, I obviously you can't give anyone cancer. But I think that there is some type of aggregating factor 
that he was involved yes. in that yeah. did that is definitely making it worse and maybe he's feeling some guilt about like oh no like i've been my normal terrible dog mess self and dogging my wife out while she has cancer but i like there's just there's got to be more to it and i yeah. don't think that this is a hundred percent of the story let me just say this also I, I need to point this out really quick um the uh the the they're still right now kenzen and palace is still trying to spin williams horrible communications team it was the fact that they gave zero explanation that day that launched the conspiracy theories. Richard Palmer is saying, although her diagnosis was the reason William pulled out of the Constantine Memorial Service, triggering weeks of ludicrous international speculation about the couple, it's understood that it wasn't a case of them finding out just before the service, to be clear. Not Kate, Je this is what I mean about Kensington Palace's vial. Yeah, they're no, they're so awful with it. And I ugh. go on. Oh, no, I, I was just going to say so. I don't know if you saw that recent posting that they had where they're paying something like the equivalent of about $30,000 a year for a communications person. And I have to imagine this is why. Because unless you are one of the turnip tops or whatever those weird inbred people are that they roll with. Unless you're from a family that has such wealth that you can basically afford to work for nothing, you can't afford to actually work for that. So that limits their pool to people who are just really not good. Because if you grow up, and not to say that no Nepo baby or rich child is capable of you know, putting in hard work or making something of themselves, yeah. but... If you've grown up with that, like with people just telling you, oh, you're the best, you're you're really good at this when you're really not. And it's just because your parents are paying them so much money to be in there. You never actually develop a skill set. So one, I, I think. That, but, but just to interject really quick, I 100% agree with you. But when I'm talking about William being vile, if you look at the timeline, because, you know, you zoom out, you look at the timeline. Kate, because of Kinson and Palace's F-ups, was forced to humiliate herself and make up that dumb lie and take the blame for her editing photos to cover up when William was the one that took the photo and just skirted out of there. Then all the speculation, Kate obviously did not uh, orchestrate deep fake videos and fake videos and all this other stuff, right? On top of that, William was putting out stories about Kate's your best friend one minute and a monster next. So that's going on. Then there was all these Kensington Palace sources, because I remember in the last week that had been going on record saying Kate's going like she's mean, she's acting unhinged, this is so stressful for William. Then Kate shows up on a bench, is forced to share her medical information, which nobody asked for, but Kensington Palace, I think, is only sharing that because they have lost all authority and they're trying to make a sympathy play, not Kate. But Kenzen Powell's is trying to make a sympathy play to get back to whatever credibility they lost. And then Char Charles issues a thing saying, I've stayed in close contact with my beloved daughter-in-law, blah, 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 blah. And William's team puts out, see, this is the reason why I pulled out of my godfather's funeral. You're now, why Kate announces this, you're still in cleanup mode because William only cares about looking good. And it was important in this moment for you to say, see, that's why I pulled out my God's father's funeral. Um, yeah, yeah uh, no, that, it was for Kate's health. What? That, that's exactly what? well. So that's exactly what I mean about them not hiring competent people. And I mean, part of it is them being cheap, but also the reason is, like I said, if you surround yourself with all of these people who are basically yes men, who tell you that whatever cockamamie idea you put out there is is a good idea or oh yeah we yeah. can do that but let's just do a little something different like and they just follow orders instead of actually having any kind of direction this is this is why when somebody competent like megan came in they they thought it was bullying because they were so used to just taking yeah. stupid directions and doing them and i 100 percent think that that's still going on for sure with them here because anybody competent 
would have at, like at that first um at the doctor photo they would have said no we've already told them that she is recovering and that she still needs time to recover so let's just put out an archive photo um and say like you know on behalf of our family no one would have questioned it because if your story is she's she's too sick to basically make a real appearance or to take a photo with the kids nobody's going to question oh okay, yeah like that makes sense why they would put out an old photo and they could have done that and probably still th there still would have been questions but at least you know like they wouldn't have damaged their credibility the way that they did trying yeah. to pass off this stuff that in their circles for a press that they own that they can control may fly but not for an international press um body that actually has standards that's why reuters yeah, exactly. why afp they're like no we're not messing with you and honestly with this video i i you know like i think that they're going to report on it but i feel like they're still going to even question that god help them if there are any things that flash back to any type of previous appearances or any things that are out of order that put it into question because they're they're not going to be able to recover if there is anything that you know just implies that this is an old video that they voiced over but yeah the whole way that they've handled it has just been i i mean i don't even like kate like that and it's just really tragic to see the way that she's being used by them and it is because i'm like literally even on twitter while you were talking and it just shocks me but you know the derangers are having a part leave her alone leave her alone you guys we're talking about william and kinson and palace now like the topic is officially okay kate is excused from this conversation this is officially about william and kinson and palace but i see that whatever's going on they just want to protect the crown and that conversation is never allowed to happen because at the end of the day you're arguing with people that believe that they are above reproach and anyone that actually believes in a blood merit system is just like ridiculous uh to begin with but why am hold on let's bring up a few other people let's bring up miss hamilton and karen hi how are you hey, doing Tisa. hello hi i love your show oh thank you so listen let's start with miss hamilton first and then we'll go to karen miss hamilton hi, Tisha. how are you doing you're so wonderful hey, what's going on? <laughs> Listen, I know that you just switched over to talk about William. I just have to say my sympathies go out to Kate. And I love the fact that you have done such an excellent job with your investigative journalism, oh. sis. Listen, let me tell you something. Your your channel was my only source for information regarding that, that oh, across you. the pond. And so I think you did an excellent job covering it because you actually made me care about something and people that I don't necessarily think about or focus on, okay? I will say this, this was my only comment about the situation. I honestly think those folks did not know what to do. And I think because they didn't have a true matriarch and because, um, what's what's the lady name, little tampon lady? Because she was never oh, really Camilla. like, right, Come right. I don't think Camilla was ever respected as a matriarchal figure. And I think they didn't really know what to do. And I think they piecemealed it shoddily so together. Hello? Your phone went out. Hello? Well, while she tries to reconnect, I'm just going to okay. say that, that, yeah, that's exactly what I meant about the whole Nepo baby situation, because if they, if that's who they surround themselves with, like, and if you're brought up to think that this person with the magic blood is always right, so you've got to find ways to support them, then you're, you're not actually going to get competent people in there. And I, you know, that's unfortunately, I feel going to continue because the people who are in it for the crown, in it to support king and country, are the ones who are least qualified probably to do it. Because if they had a real crisis communication person in there, I feel like they probably would have still been able to maintain some air of their inflated self sense of superiority um, yeah. and handle this a lot better. But I, I mean, I'm, 
I am sad for Kate's kids that she has this diagnosis, um, but I am happy that it exposed monarchy and especially William for who and what they are. Exactly. It exposed the monarchy for who and what they are. They're vile. And it also, like for me, just exposed the people that support the monarchy. They're just as vile. It's like you ever be arguing with people and you realize you're arguing with a crazy madman. Like they're just you're just arguing with a crazy person. So definitely I do want to uh thank you so much. Uh ma 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 mahad keys mahad keys uh ruby thank you so much for becoming a member mahad keys thank you so much for the super sticker john doe um said hit the dollar sign by the chat to become a member oh that's sweet you guys and matthews thank you so much for becoming a member karen really quickly why don't you weigh in what's going on yeah well um hi wine joy uh, a lot of things that uh, wine joy was saying was great um uh, why wayne is that um first of all you know i wish um you know i wish the people who are sick i wish them all the best and you know hope that they um they get better um you know sick is, sick is not good or illness is not good for anybody but you know with um with that what is coming out today is exactly what the people were asking for you know, mm -hmm. like a month, and a, a month and a half ago. And the people deserve that. They should have gotten that because these are public people that we're talking about. You know, when there's a handshake, uh, um, a wave, uh, you know, a celebration, um, you know, um, for the public uh, attention or whatever, you know, you're there to get it firsthand. So why is it that something like this happened and, you know, the, the, the public are not, you know, given that respect? you know, in order yeah. to, um, you know, think, you know, you've been for, uh, you know, the last two months, you've been playing with the um, the public emotions. That is not mm -hmm. right. There's so many people out there who is who are, you know, um, affected by, um, by this, you know, illness. And, you know, uh, they need that kind of respect. They need that kind of emotion being, you know, behind them. They need that kind of rallying. And here you you came out and you know play all along with the with the public emotions, you know trying to you know drum up all the sympathy and not giving out the information, and then you don't expect as a public person you don't expect you know people to you know um, to have all these different you know um, you know thinking about you know what's going on, right? When when things yeah. are okay. When things are okay, you want certain things. And when things are not, you don't want to, you know, you, you're holding back, right? Yeah. Public. That's, and that's, that's well not said. right. Yeah, that's yeah. not that's that's not right at all. So, you know, and then on top of that, a lot of other um, you know, people who are, you know, um, innocent to this got pulled in, you know, to this whole situation, like, you know, like Misa and and and, uh, and um and uh you know the other um photographer in regards to their their picture because of the stuff that you put out there okay uh in the mm. public and you know and came to um you know and and came to to front that these things are are not real that we're being lied to and now these other innocent people work are being questioned and and pulled yeah. into into this nonsense. It's not right. You've been playing with people's emotions. You've been playing with people's empathy, sympathy, and all that stuff. And all that those energies from people could have gone elsewhere. We could have known exactly. You know, we don't need need your records. We don't need to know exactly what exactly, to, exactly what you came out and say today. This is all the people were asking for. This is all they were asking for. It okay. shocked my mind that people are like, "You hear it? You were saying all these nasty things." Yes, because we were saying you're giving us fake videos. Is that what else are we supposed to think? If I like it, it just boggles my mind that Kensington Palace has another thing coming though. If they and again, Kate's excluded from the conversation now because now I look at her as like you had just as much power, even less than Diana exactly. had, Megan or whatever. But it's shocking to me the way Kensington Palace, I believe, is using Kate to get the sympathy play. Because at the end of the day. We can have big compassion for what Kate is going through and let her deal with it privately, but still look at Kensington Palace and William and being like, you guys lied, concealed. You put out fake videos with body doubles. You told, you put out all these rumors about 
Kate having a nervous breakdown, Kate this, Kate that. You guys, Google the gossip rags that Kenzen and Palace like speaking through. They go through the tabloids. They said Kate is putting William under mental stress. She doesn't want to return to royal duty. She, like These are articles that were being put out with royal sources. So it's sick to me that, like you said, they want all the benefits, but none of the responsibility. You don't get to literally fake outings with people because you don't want anyone to know that a royal bloodline is not pure. Do you know what exactly. I'm saying? And it's even true. now, the, the, the royalists are like, leave her alone. When we have oncologists on CNN being like, yeah, we have a great sympathy of what's going on, but what she said doesn't make sense. And again, I now believe that Kate is just like a tool of Kinsen and Palace and the fact that she has no power. I always looked at her and William together joining in to bully whatever. But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, Kate, you're just as big as an issue also. So no, she, I, I yeah. think, I think they're all responsible for this. And, and, and Kate, Kate play, Kate, Kate leans into all of this and play the game all along with, with, with everything that they do, they do in there. So she is, you know, she, she also is, you know, has to take responsibility for this because she didn't have to sit up as, as they say, and, you know, patch that whole, um, you know, uh, photo together she didn't have to do that right and on top of that you know i mean to say uh take an example with sarah from cnn okay yeah Sarah from cnn she you know uh she came out and announced when she got her diagnosis about saying she's a public person she's on cnn okay she came out yeah. and she spoke out about it she's going through her treatment and stuff like that and every single day she's still on cnn doing her stuff okay so you know, people literally, genuinely go through this today and get diagnosed every single day, every single day in regards to that. Yeah. We have family members and stuff like that, like this. OK. And when and, and, and they have these two palaces that are working, they have this family that they say they say it's a it's a together family. OK. Now, if you have people that this is happening, then the two palaces were supposed to re um, unite. OK, and come together and, and deal with this. This is when you, 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 you unite together and deal yeah. with it and put out a proper, um, you know, proper information to the people. OK, so saying that you didn't yeah. know how to tell the public, you didn't know how to, they didn't know how to work with it. They didn't know how. Yes, they know how to do. They've been doing this for a thousand years. OK, yeah, they know what they yeah. want to put and not want to put out okay and something like this that you're saying that is so drastic is so you know um you know catastrophic and so drastic and so whatever this is the time when the two palaces are supposed to unite or three palaces or, or castles and all that stuff this is when you're supposed to be unite and come in one okay and and put out proper messages for your subjects this is what you do you don't carry on with all this nonsense Okay, mm -hmm. around the world and waste people time. Okay, exactly. It's like, and I'm surprised that people are not more angry that people literally played in our faces. They are the reason. It all first started, haha, where's Kate? To like, no, really, where is she? There literally was a deep fake, and people are like, leave her alone. It's been told as if, again, I, I realized, like, my dad always told me. When people like you, no matter what you do, they're always going to stand by your side. They might chastise you, but they're still going to. When people don't like you, no matter what you do, it's never going to be good enough. The fact that everybody is just overlooking that that's like if not the president. But yeah, our, we don't have heads of state like um, the UK does. But imagine our VP having a body double and fake walking around doing this doing that gaslighting the public we find that it was all lying she's suffering from something it's like wait what like just because kate is this and our hearts go out to her we're talking about the institution because kate did not do this gaslighting she didn't do this lying they didn't do it on kate's behalf because kinson at buckingham palace came out and said i have cancer you know, and the nation said, oh, my God. And they handled that respectively. And nobody's been gossiping about Charles. Nobody's been taking nothing. But now to sit here and play this the Kensington Palace and play this victim role as if the reason people I was speculating, I was curious, I was talking 
is because what? Like, it's just, like you said, it's ridiculous that they're even going through this and they even want to try and do this. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, they shouldn't be playing with playing with people like that. I think it's it's disrespectful. It is disrespectful to each and every one of us as human who has to go through this same kind of stuff and you know, um, no people who has gone through this kind of thing. And to be put onto that roller coaster, okay, and you know, getting, you know, sent left, right, and center and implicating innocent people and accusing you know, innocent people and just doing it whenever you feel like, you know, coming out to say something. This is not what the public deserve. It's not. And, you know, it's it's very, very wrong that, you know, they would, um, you know, they would think of doing something like that in a time like today. OK, yeah. so, you know, it's, you know, it's too, um, you know, with with all this Internet and all this stuff, no matter what, look, just the other day, you know, there was a hacking with with um, medical information in one of yeah. the, you know, the, the the hospitals, you know, in in in, a, in another country. It it happens all the time. It happens all the time. So you know. Also, it's, it's, it's I have probably... a question. Kate said that she, they just found out she had cancer, but she's going through chemotherapy. So is it? Or, but then again, we'll get out of her thing. But it's like. This is all Kinson and Palace. I, I, I agree. That is, that, yeah, that's what I was saying. And hey, Karen. Uh, Hi, <laughs> thanks. That's what I was saying. Something in the milk isn't clean. Um, I'm still not, I, I really still don't think that this is 100% of the story. And, mm. and man, I, they they need to hire better people all around. Because for one, yeah. when, they pulled, when they pulled that stunt queen video with uh, what was supposed to be Kate, skipping and hopping and jumping for joy yeah. with heavy shopping bags that, that she really looked nothing like her you know who could have helped with that somebody who had experience in hollywood who was an actress yeah. on a very successful series i i just yeah. not to not to make light of anything but i just can't um express my joy enough at how badly they screwed themselves by by bullying Megan and Harry out, Megan especially, because I'm sure I, I don't think that she would have played along with all of their shenanigans, but she could have helped them so much. If nothing else for convincing makeup or <laughs> how to at least cast people who look like other people if you're trying to pass off a video. Yeah, exactly. But listen, you guys, mm -hmm. I'm going to hop off here. And get the searching really quick. Let me get Anthony on stage really quick uh, to say, what's up, Anthony? Hey, uh, Tisa, how are you? I'm, and I'm then we're going to see what's going on. Hey, it's, 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 it's terrifying. Tisa. I want to ask you one quick question. If, if, if Kate passes away, do you think there will be any succession changes, Tisa? No, actually, because I don't think Kate is in the line of succession. But you know what? I don't even want to put that out there because... Again, it's her cancer. I don't, you know, cancer can change very quickly, but I don't know. I'm just really worried at the way. It's so funny that people are criticizing the internet for the way we treated Kate. But when you look at the way her husband and Kenzie and Powell, I just feel really sorry for Kate. I feel really sorry for her. One of the reasons nobody really believed she was sick is because when she said, I, I experiment with Photoshopping, we're like, okay, so, and then the video, which we thought was fake, but even if you believed it was true, okay, she's fine. So it's kind of like, I just really feel sorry for her for the way Kensington Palace and her husband have treated and her. Tisa, Tisa, her. And, sorry, Tisa, sorry, sorry, Tisa. Yes. And do, you think, do you think this will open the door for Harry and Meghan to rejoin the royal family? We're not going there. <laughs> I hope not because look at the way they treated the mother of the future king. I would like if I was Harry and Meghan, because there's a thing, you know, we when don't you need cut to bring Harry and toxic, Meghan into this, we just need to leave no, them but out when you it. cut out toxic people. I think there's times where you're like, wow, you know, like, did I make the right decision? I think these were these times when Harry and Meghan were like, we absolutely did. We absolutely made the right decision. Like this should have solidified the fact that they jumped before they were pushed. And I know that like 
thank God, they jumped before they were pushed because look how they treated Kate. That's the only thing. It's like Kate was supposed to be the number two in command. And look, um, uh, look how, uh, look how tough it is. I will say this. Um, there was just one more thing, right? Again, mm -hmm. I will always say too, why isn't William in the video? You're still leading her out into the wind. And at this point, we can table whatever conversations we're having about Kate, right? She is dealing with something. I will take her at her word. I can turn my focus on William and Kenzin and Palace because how Kenzin and Palace and William like to show us, you know, Kate is a separate entity from them. So we can actually turn our attention to them. Also, um, CMC Bride, thank you so much for becoming a member. And also Miss Lauren One, uh, you said she took the vaccine. Thank you so much for the super chat. Listen, you guys, I have to get to yeah. investigating. Be because there is yes. Before you go, one thing I wanted to say is that, and I keep forgetting it all the time. If the, if, I, I don't know if you agree with me with this, but if the, if the public did not put pressure on, um, you know, wanting to know, you know, like where is Kate, you know, and yeah, what's going on and stuff like that when she was Mason. I said, do you think that we would have gotten any information? I don't think anything we would have gotten. Absolutely, absolutely not. Okay. But I only think this information came out to not take Kate off the table to serve Kinson and Palace. Kinson and Palace is mad and ashamed that they have lost their standing in the media again. Mm -hmm. People, could you imagine two months ago if this mm -hmm. had came out? I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even have questioned it. I'd have been like, oh my God, she has cancer. Now people mm -hmm. are like, and rightfully so. Is this mm -hmm. a deep fake? Is that a real mm -hmm. video? Is this Kate? Because you told us two days ago this was Kate. This can't be the same person. I will say this one thing, and this sums it up perfectly. This is from my royalty account on Twitter, and this sums up exactly how I feel about every person commenting on this that is like haha you see when megan admitted she had been ready to delete herself mm -hmm. no one in the british media expressed any shame or remorse for anything they had said or done against her mm -hmm. as a matter of fact the account the the, the they ramped up the attacks in the newspaper on her they, they actually, actually, they actually call, call her a liar they call yes, her a liar that's her next thing my road account said they accused, my royalty account, Burner Royalty on Twitter, said they accused her of lying. When mm -hmm. she had a miscarriage, the mm -hmm. royalists accused her of faking another pregnancy. They mm -hmm. have no moral lessons to give anyone mm -hmm. at all. Not at all. Uh, uh, can at I, all. Before, before we finish, just yeah. to Anthony's question, the only scenario, um, and I, I'm not encouraging this, wishing it, anything. Um, the only scenario I think in which they might return is um, given the line of succession, um, George is too young. So if Kate, for whatever reason, is unavailable, she could be alive, but just, you know, still recovering. William, well, <laughs> we see how he is. He's unfit for duty. But if for whatever reason, neither of them could be regents until George is old enough to take the throne, then Harry could step in. Um, in that role and essentially, you know, kind of be his guiding hand until he's old enough to sit on the throne himself. So yeah. it's a possibility. It's who knows how likely it is, how unlikely. Um, if it is, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll just say this. Having Harry with the full weight of the crown, um, I do wonder how things would go we already see that he's not afraid to go after rupert murdoch and his papers and say enough of this and it makes you wonder if charles if william actually had a backbone and would stand up um for things and say no i'm not going to let you invade my family's privacy i'm not going to let you invade my brother's privacy i have the weight of the crown and if they wielded it in that way you kind of have to wonder, you know, if things might actually be a little bit better. So not saying it's mm. or, or not saying it's going to happen, but yeah, the, the, I, I personally think that's the only way that Harry comes back. If somebody has her, do you think that Harry will actually come back though? I, I don't yeah. think that even, so even if it were, if it were to be him, um, offered as re 
as more than regent, like, you know, he is the actual monarch, then I think no, because I think that he genuinely cares enough about his kids and has learned enough from his own childhood that he would not want to subject Archie and Lilibet um, to that. Even if, and, you know, not to even mention, I think that he would consider Megan's feelings on it as well. So I don't think that he would do that, but I do think that Harry probably does still feel some sense of duty um, to the system. Keep in mind all of the things that he said when they asked him, you know, do you want to come back? He's like, nope, absolutely not. Do you still believe in the monarchy? Yes. And granted, that was at the time that his grandmother was alive and whatever fondness and love he has for her may be the driving portion of that. We know that he still loves Charles, even though Charles was a dog mess father to him. Um, so he may genuinely feel a sense of duty and a sense of responsibility if called upon um, to do something like that. But like I said, I really can't see him being anything more than a regent and trying to steer things back into as best a direction as he can get it. Um, I don't think that he would, you know, return all the stolen jewels and <laughs> completely uh, clean the place up. But I think that he would try his best to put it in a more positive and service focused direction if given the opportunity and if he felt the duty. I think you are right. He would try to make good, but we already saw what that happened in part one. Before you guys go, there's something very interesting that I need to show you guys. Um, this is from Karen. Uh, you sent this to me. You know, this is just weird. And I share all weird things with you guys. Um, and let me know what you guys think, truly. Let me just put this up on the screen and get this going. Um, I share all weird things with you guys, and this has me like a little bit. Um, Karen sent me this via email, also Valerie Renee. And baby girl, thank you so much. I got your uh, video, but let me see. Hold on. Uh, so I got sent the video and I'm not going to play the whole commercial because I don't know, this is just really troubling, but in this world, who knows what's going to happen, right? So here we have, let me just put this on the screen. So, so, so we have the doctor, this and that, right? And we see Kate, of course, this is the video. The video was taking very very far back there's also filter there's blurrings there's this and that i thought it's because maybe kate looked really bad uh you know and i do the same thing like i don't want to say it. but then karen sent me this video and these are stills from uh 2018 video uh in the same garden with Kate wearing the same sweater and her hair is the exact same color. There's a video out with Kate with um, Harry and of course with, um, uh, I, I, I mm. this, her hair is the exact same color for anybody that knows anything about hair dyeing, it's almost impossible to get the exact same color. Um, she's in the exact same garden. The garden is in the exact same state of bloom. She's wearing the exact same color, the, the sweater. It fits her the exact same way. Just Google heads together video Kate Middleton. But there she's running around. Now granted, in the video, her hair, where she's talking, her hair is a bit, longer of course yeah. her hair is a bit longer but again if you know anything about sora and ai that's something very easy to do if you guys don't know what sora is just google sora s-o-r-a it's about to put the whole uh industry a film industry uh, like they're going to be put out of business um you can do a sora demo but again the exact same here the exact same sweater, the exact same garden, in the exact same state of bloom. 
Um, and again, the only difference is with this video, Kate is very, very far back. Now, admittedly, I do need to say this, right? Um, it's hard to prove a negative. So it's not like I can prove this is or isn't Kate. But honestly, it wouldn't make any sense for it to be a deep fake. Like, it was zero purpose. You know, like, what would be the purpose? Kate passed away and they're trying to slow roll it out, you know? Um, Kate does look a lot older in this current video. Um, like Valerie said, you know, the same way there's youth filters, there's age filters. And Kate is known to repeat her favorite items of clothing. But at Kate... You know, thank you, you guys, for sending this. But I want to put it out because I know it's going to be discussed. Why have Kate, if this, let's just say the conspiracy is true, why have Kate fake a cancer announcement, especially when it makes Kenton and Powell and William look horrible? It's the, in my opinion, the story to me is them not even telling Kate's family because Kate's family went on record and said they don't know what's going on in her. And I'm honestly trying to hide cancer in the same way they hit Queen Elizabeth's cancer. Like, these people are just weirdos. And they're so weird, they're so psychotic, that they literally now have us even doubting on whether this video really is of Kate. And honestly, they have released several fake videos and photos of the past, in the past two weeks. So why I do feel like this is Kate, okay? Um, why I do feel like this is Kate, it would only behoove you if someone literally tried to give you fake video before to question it. So I understand why people are, uh, uh, I understand why people are actually questioning it, you know? Um, yeah. This is, Kate. This, is, this, is, this is Kate, but that video that they had with the farm shop, that was not Kate, no, William. Yeah. No, yeah, it it's not Kate or William. You can see so the Yeah, so I, I, I see why. I see why people are now pulling up receipts, and this is the bed that Kensington Palace made for themselves. Why only an idiot would believe someone that's lied to them sixty times without at least investigating and then making up their Kensington Palace lost their credibility. So we have to look into things for ourselves. Now, I am now satisfied, of course, with the fact that Kate has cancer. I, like I said on a million videos, I didn't need to see her medical chart. I just wanted to see her, you know? Um, so, yeah. And that's, all people, that's all people were asking for. And I think, you know, this exactly what they did today is what people were asking for a, a, a month or and a half ago, two months ago. That's what people were asking yeah. for. Okay, and they could have yeah. they could have done it at that time. They That's could have done it. They could have they could have done it. They didn't even need to show a video. They could have just made a statement. Exactly. Hi guys, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm dealing with personal matters. If you know, blah 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 blah. That's it. And people would have backed off. People only started ramping things up when all the time. Let's also not forget. Five people in the same family have cancers in two years. Let's also not forget that one guy that used to be Pippa's ex-boyfriend. They he was mm -hmm. he was found with a, a yeah. traumatic hit injury. I got you know it's still under investigation. It hasn't been ruled a suicide. There's so many things going on. I'll make a video about that because I was researching it. There's so many things going on outside of Kate. Kids and Pals is on fire. They are on fire. I, will, right. I, I, do, I do wonder if there's an environmental connection um, to any of this, because like you said, sure, um, for for the ones who are, you know, where their family trees go in a loop, um, we can understand that there may be some abnormalities. But it, like you said, for Fergie and Kate yeah. and, you know, all these people, I do wonder oh. if there is some environmental yeah. factor um, that might play a role. Mm. There is. Now, listen. Yeah. I agree with I, you because I, I, like there has to be environmental because cancer is not contagious. There has to be something going on. I do just want to say this also. At this point, it literally is what do you believe? A lot of people don't believe kids in the palace. I will say this time will tell. Now that Kate has shared her diagnosis, perhaps we will start seeing her around more or maybe not. I just know. Yeah. And I'm not even being funny. 
at the end of this, they Kate better make a full recovery. That's all but I'm saying. No, like I hey, hey listen, you were recovery. You were joking. You were joking when you said, "Are they trying to slow roll her?" Uh, Kate not being here anymore. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Might not be a joke listen, because I... yeah. But, but but Tisha, you said something. You said something earlier before. I think it's before I before I came on. You said something in regards to yeah. um, you know um, you know people telling lies all the time. You you know, if you have a family member or friend or whatever it is, and every time you're communicating with that person or dealing with that person, you know, they yeah. keep lying to you all the time. Eventually, you, you, you distance yourself from that person. You stay away yeah. from that person because you can't carry on a constructive conversation. You don't know who you're meeting with. You're not growing yeah. with that person. You're not getting anywhere, you know. So, you know, eventually you just, you know, tune them out, sign them off. Because yeah. you don't, you you feeling like an idiot all the time dealing with this yeah. with, with this person, and that's the whole that's the situation with this. Okay, we're not getting yeah. the truth. That they're t basically teaching us how to how to view them. Okay, and everything that yeah. comes out of their mouth from you know so much years back, you know we just yeah. don't want to hear it anymore. Unless you come out and be honest with us and think. And from the beginning, like you said, we didn't need to get a video or whatever but what they should have done from the beginning is be transparent and be truth truthful with the people yes and stop lying to people we are human beings yes. we don't want it we don't want it yes so exactly exactly we're human beings and again being transparent doesn't mean you tell everybody everything they know what no. it means just no. don't cut out fake photos and fake videos and tell everybody to shut up because there she is she's well like okay you know um but listen this is what i'm gonna say let me go make this video because i'm like researching everything you guys said i'm not done with kenton and palace or william prayers to kate god Good. has a plan <laughs> Hopefully he's holding her close. I'm being serious. Like at the end of the day, being a mom with three young children, like cancer is so vile. Kate is excluded moving forward. I have some think words for think, William and Kate and Howard in this stuff. Think, think about your charities out there. Think about the 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 um early childhood. Think about all these different things that you are trying to be um noble with that you're you know you want to support you want to you know you want to help them mental health you know um organizations and you're telling them to speak out and stuff like that and when you when you when when you're you know not being transparent and you're lying to them what what are they supposed to believe what are young kids exactly okay, are supposed exactly. to believe they're looking up to you what are they supposed to believe okay it, it, you're telling yeah. them one thing and then you're doing something else. It's it's just not right. It's not right. Yeah. No, they they lost the plot. And then just also not forget the palace came out screaming at us that she's gonna be out back by Easter and all this other stuff. And it was all this shame. And now with this, obviously, this is them unofficially saying, Yeah, all the stuff we said about when she was gonna get back, it's a lie. It's all a lie. So that, that's why I um, say your joke about them uh, slow rolling out or, or putting a stopgap in place before they announce she's not here. I, I don't know. I'm still I'm genuinely still concerned for her. Um, this does yeah. nothing to lessen or to reduce my feeling. And like I said, my primary concern is certainly for the kids, because it, especially that young, um, all kids need need a mom. Uh, yeah. So I would hope for her to be away from them like that. But it, this is just, it's really, really suspect the way that they've handled this entire debacle. And exactly. if the kids are just being told now, but they were put into that copy paste photo and they had no idea why they couldn't actually take a real photo with mommy, that mm -hmm. is something is still not clean to me. Yeah. yeah. I wish everyone, full, is I wish very everyone full, full recovery. I wish everyone full recovery. And I hope yeah. they learn something from this to be more more honest and transparent with the, with the public. Exactly. So listen, guys, I'm anyway, going to. This is gonna be thank you so day. much. Thank you so so thank much. Thank you so much for rocking with me, you guys. Bye, I really Bye. Bye. Thank you. Tisa. I'm really quick. Nevitz, no, no, said Tisa, love, you're out of focus. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Okay. That, the, so listen, much. the internet couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle the Tisa today. It was just like, ah, like don't know what to do. All of this mess from Kensington Palace. And then we got our favorite person to break it down for us.
the internet couldn't exactly. handle it. Thank you so much, yes, Tiso. Exactly. Yeah. We appreciate so anyway, you and we appreciate your bits. Thank you so much. And also why I'm droid. And of course, um, everyone else that joined, thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay. It's going to be a heavy upload day. We got a lot to talk about. Talk to you guys later. Bye.